Many people claim that grains cause inflammatory diseases. But is this really true? And what does the scientific literature have to say about grains? Should we be avoiding them? Or should we be including them in our diets every day? Why is there so much confusion? And how can we discover the truth? Well, let's hear what Dr. Michael Greger has to say about grains. Just to clarify, Prior to this clip, Dr. Greger had already addressed celiac disease and made it clear that those with celiac and those with gluten sensitivity must, of course, avoid gluten-containing grains. I went into depth about gluten in a previous video, which suggests we should all probably avoid gluten-containing grains mainly due to genetic engineering of modern wheat. To see that video, you can click the link here. Thankfully, there are still many other wonderful naturally gluten-free grains that are available. So, putting those gluten-containing grains aside, what about other grains? Do they cause inflammation? Let's hear from Dr. Greger. The only people who are scared of grains is for people that are unfamiliar with the nutritional literature. There's like this meme on the internet, like grains are inflammatory. Okay, if that were true, people who eat more grains would have higher rates of inflammatory disease, right? The exact opposite is true. If it was true, then Whole grains, you'd have higher levels of markers of inflammation, like C-reactive protein and other things. The exact opposite is true. It's like this kind of weird upside-down universe is out there. Just because something's on the internet doesn't mean it's true. And in fact, in this case, the truth is the exact opposite. Show me a single study that people ate whole grains and inflammation went up. A single one! That is so rare. Usually there's a couple, but the overwhelming balance is in the other direction. But I couldn't find one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.